Hi, I'm G. Oh, and I'm Michelle. And we are the, the Ben Pickers. Pickers. How you guys doing today? <laughs> good, good. I guess. Why? Why? Whew. Okay, well, we sold a few things. Sold Sunday. Oh, yeah, sold Sunday. Forgot. <laughs> clap, I can't, clap, I can't clap. even take you seriously. Okay, yeah, well, it's hard. We only have one $5 it, item. It's hard to be serious. <laughs> I guess, with your hair. Okay, we sold a few things, but what? it was a bad week for us. It was very bad week for us. All week, we, we didn't, didn't sell much. And we only sent out, like, a couple auctions, because, like I said, I had, not scheduled them, but I had them in draft, and I forgot to, like, send them out. So, yeah, we only had a few men's auctions ending, and so you'll see what happens when we don't have auctions ending. We barely have anything. Yeah. So. It, it was a bad, all week, though. I mean, we didn't sell very much, right? <laughs> Correct. Yeah, I'm going to have to go get a job if we don't start selling a little more than this, huh? Really? You're going to go work for somebody else? Yeah. Well, all the stress of not selling stuff turning my hair gray. <laughs> It's blonde. Oh, yeah. So is this a blonde, too? <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah, that's what I got. I got blonde in here. Okay. Too. Let's Hey, show but them. our average sale price was actually $22 an item plus shipping. So that's that's a lot higher than we usually have. So. Because no auctions. Right. Because usually not our average auctions. sale price is about $15 plus shipping. So $22 plus shipping. I mean, okay. that's good. Okay. There we go. We got a Filson shirt. 30 bucks. 30 bucks. Okay, let's talk about these. Okay, so... We actually picked up a bunch of these cool We picked pants. up four pair, right? And one was nice. One was Two nice. Of them you sold a nice pair for how much? Do you remember? 35 bucks. 38, maybe? something like that. Something like that. And then I had two pairs that were kind of like distressed. They had wear on the hems. Yeah, and they were they, like. They look like this. Yeah, on they were the kind hems. of like that. Right. So we sold both those together for 30 bucks or I, I can't even remember what I sold. 35 maybe for. for those. And then. We were going to pitch At these. the same time, she got these. But when we got them home, I realized they are all ripped out on the sides. Well, and I knew and that they had a rip here. I knew they had all that. But I didn't I didn't notice that they have holes all through here and everything, you know. And the belt buckle's missing. Yeah. Or belt, not buckle, belt loop was missing. So they were kind of rough. I'm we like, actually put them in our just get rid of them pile. And then I'm like, let's just list them and try to make our money back. Yeah. Um, even though they're totally thrash so i listed them out i was gonna listen for 10 bucks i listed them for 15 with 15. best offer just in case and somebody came in and bought them for 15 bucks yeah so i'm glad that we i mean maybe on. somebody wants those for like you know working on the outdoors they really like those pants so Cutting that's why wood i'm like or something right yeah i mean that'd be good then you don't yeah. have to worry about ruining them sure um so 15 bucks on those okay so sometimes see even if you have something that's a good brand that you know will sell and has problems i guess still try to well, I knew those were messed up. I didn't know they had the holes up there and stuff when I got right. them. Right. But, you know, what can you do? Sorry, we have screaming kids again But today. we still made money. Yeah. Good money off of them. Yeah. Nike pants, vintage, 90s pants, 8 bucks. These are hit or miss, too. Sometimes we sell them for 30 bucks. Sometimes we sell them for 5 bucks. Sometimes we sell them for 8 bucks. No. Vintage Reebok pants, 8 bucks. Vintage Nike t-shirt, made in the USA, says wake up. I thought this like was better. Hoops, Run, basketball. Hoop, hold the court. Eight bucks. Eight bucks. Nothing got bids yesterday that we put out. Like nothing and got And there was only a few bids. things that we had and Yeah. So this is a vintage Nike windbreaker, ten bucks. Ten bucks. Under Armour the Flash um, T shirt men's, eight bucks. Nike NFL training, like kind of waffle thermal on the inside. Shirt ten fifty one. LL Bean jacket. So this jacket, I got it last week. We just showed this in a haul video. No, we didn't show it. Oh, we did because we got it, and then I took a picture and listed. We we never had it in the haul video. Oh, we didn't show. But it, it was oh, okay. big, heavy jacket. I debated whether to get it military style. LL Bean. It was a two X tall. I don't know how much this thing weighs. I. I don't remember how much. I it think weighs, it was five pounds. It is really heavy. Right, maybe heavy it was jacket. four pounds. And I debated whether to get it. I'm like, well, let's get it. And so I sent it out for a hundred bucks because there wasn't this size on, um, you know, with best offer. And then we got offers like right away of like fifty bucks and then sixty bucks. 
And then I ended up taking off for 65 bucks. Yeah. But they haven't paid. They haven't paid for it yet. But they but... have a bunch of feedback, so I'm sure they're going to pay. It's just, um, I should have left it, like he was saying, you should have just left it sitting for, you know, because maybe somebody else would come and offer more. But hey, 65 bucks sounds good. Or someone might have just bought it. But 65 bucks, I just got it. I like... We get it, it's gone. Especially big items like that when they're gone. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. We just got this, too. It's Victoria's Secret, like, silk on top. You know, and I listed it as, like, bridal, honeymoon, um, nightgown or whatever it's called. 12 bucks on Well, that. you didn't wear something like that for our nighty honeymoon thing, did you? Okay, so we got married, and we didn't go on a honeymoon. We never had a honeymoon. We didn't go. Remember? We had to go to work the next day. I've taken you on many honeymoons, right? No, never. We've never been on a honeymoon. Oh. <laughs> We've been on a lot of trips, but does that count? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe for our, like, 20th... With the kids, stuff 20th, like that. That's, yeah. Um, our 20th anniversary, we'll actually take a honeymoon. That sounds good, right? Yeah. Uh, Winlar, Moo Moo thing, 15 bucks. 15 bucks. Yeah, so what's that? So we only have, like, two years left to go to 20. Wow. Nice. That's, like... I Where are you going to go? Parents... Disney, Disneyland yeah, let's or go. Disney World? No, not without the kids. Ted Baker dress, 75 bucks. So we had talked about this. This had, you know, I was excited to get it, but it had a little, um, like, spot on it. It had it a came right out. front and back. Yeah, and then you kind of washed it out because it's I, like, hand washed. You know, I yeah. just And it looks, and like, and... good as new now. So 75 yep. bucks on that dress. Awesome. Felina bra, 5 bucks. E-Tom, E-T-A-M. I'm not sure how to say that. Bra. Seven dollars. I'm not sure. It's like fancy bra, but yeah. like, where's it made? It says like made in some place. I don't know. It's made in some place. <laughs> I don't. Maybe I. I thought it said like made in France or something, but I don't think I it don't does. Know. We'll move on. Seven bucks Probably on that, that bra. Big deal. We still have a bunch of bras. Like I've had them out. I had them on buy it now. So like right now, if somebody's offering me over five dollars, five dollars or over on a bra, I'm most likely gonna take it. Made in Thailand. Okay, well, then it's not fancy bra. There you go. New with tag Vicky Vi. We debated getting this, too, because it was heavy, but it was a 3X. It's like that slinky, feels like Chico's Travelers kind of jacket. Yeah, he has it, it feels down. just like Chico's, doesn't it? Yeah, but 3X is a good size. So I, I took an offer of 27, which I think is great for that. Yeah, it's pretty good. We finally sold a Hugo It Loves Tiki. It's, it's been, been a while, while since we sold them. <laughs> uh, 15 bucks on that. We... I think, and again, we paid. I think we have about six, eight more. Six, eight that's more. We it. paid a dollar for those. Um, so if you can sell them for fifteen bucks, that's good. Is it? Yeah. So this is Ani, A H N I. This also feels like Chico's Travelers, yeah, like the skirt. This doesn't as much. The though. top part has different, but this these sections feel like it. A H N I. Yeah. So $38. So these are, like, the day I got all those Chico's, I got some Eileen Fisher, and then those, and a couple other things, all in one lady, like, they were all hung up, like, somebody's clothes they had yeah. donated. Yeah, I remember um, that thing. I mean, and we're selling a bunch of that, so it's like, I'm glad I spent the time and sat there and took this stuff off hangers and decided what I, what I wanted and stuff. Yeah. Okay, this, too, I was really excited to get, and I put on pretty high. It is missing the belt. I had never found this brand, so I was kind of excited to find it at Chris Punto. Um, I was excited, had it priced high, never sold, but now I sold it for 25 bucks, 25 bucks, which it doesn't weigh that much. So that's a good, but I, I just, I thought when I got it, you know, when you've got something and you're like, oh, this is good. And then, I mean, not that $25 isn't good. Cause I'm thankful for that $25, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. And then it just doesn't sell as like what you thought it would be. I mean, stuff is like that. That's just how it is. Sometimes it's easier to sell, but I, I say this all the time. Sometimes it's easier to sell stuff that's not as high end or high expensive. I don't know stuff. if anyone could actually take you seriously with your hair. Oh, they hair. take me seriously. That's like falling. It's like so hairspray. These are the, another. These were a pair of pants that were in that lady's stuff that I dug through. Eileen Fisher. Yeah. One. Um, X, yeah. One X pants. Thirty one twenty five. Okay. So that that's, is all we sold. So, and and that's over from like, the weekend. Actually, like Friday at noon because we went to the post office kind of early on Friday. So Friday at noon, and it's like Sunday at noon. We're doing this video a little bit yeah, early. Yeah, we're doing it early so we can go to the bin, right? Yeah. So 
we spent twenty two oh two, so twenty two dollars on this stuff. Twenty two dollars was we, our cost. Yes, and okay. then we sold it for four hundred twelve dollars and seventy six cents. Sold it for four hundred twelve dollars, and our return on investment is one thousand seven hundred seventy four percent, which is seventeen times our money, which is like where we like to be. So yeah. that's pretty good. But four hundred dollars over the weekend is not where we want to be. Definitely, it's okay. So yeah, you I didn't sell didn't, one thing on Poshmark either. I didn't sell, Did you sell anything all week. I have not sold one thing on Poshmark all week. Not wow. all week. But I, I haven't been over there sharing anything. And I, I've, some people have shared my stuff. And I really appreciate them sharing my stuff. And I haven't sat down and done it back. So I need to actually work on doing that. Like I'm going to work on a little bit on Poshmark. We need to list week. some stuff. I have a too. pile of stuff I need to get listed over there. So yeah. I'm going to do that. Because, yeah, we didn't sell anything. So on there. Well, we actually uh, we started sending out a bunch of jerseys on the men's. Football jerseys, because football season, I think, is going to start soon. I guess. Man, I didn't sell any of them. No offers, anything, right? So maybe I he's like, what do you want jerseys? me to give you? What do you want me to give you? And I'm like, I don't know. Like, to put on, right? Not, you know what I mean. What do you want me to give you to put on? <laughs> okay. Wait, what are you saying? <laughs> I'm just saying. He asked me, what do I want to list, right? Okay, you don't have to tell him everything. <laughs> okay, so I didn't know. Like, what do you have? Just... Pull some stuff out of our inventory and let's list it, right? So he picked jerseys. And I'm like, ah, I don't like jerseys. But we we haven't put jerseys on really at all. And we have tons of them. And so we'll see. I mean, I don't know. Maybe the basketball ones will be better than the football. Maybe. I just like. And I she think, doesn't like to put them on. So then. Here's what I don't like about jerseys. I, I don't know all the teams. I mean, I know some of them. So I got to look up every one. And I don't know the players. So I got to look up. And then it depends, like sometimes if they're sewn, if they're printed, I got to figure out comps, like where should I price this at to be... With, with jerseys, some little things can make a big difference in price. It's you true. Know? So, and I like color to, or something yeah. here and not there or whatever. It's true. That's the way they are. And I don't know this stuff, so Apparently it's I hard. didn't have any good ones. Cause... It's a lot more research to list, and I don't yeah, like... like it is. Stuff like that, like I would rather list out some bras or something like that that like it doesn't i don't need to look up really what other people have because i have a set price and then i'll take a best offer you know what i mean it's like you don't really have to yeah do much research on those even though the bra market is flooded in itself because like it never used to be right back when we started selling bras i mean seriously like 15 years ago when we started listing bras, like nobody else, no would, one would get them either. At nobody the get them. So like, you could just go through and yeah. I mean, we would get tons awesome. of bras. Awesome. And then you look up like Victoria's Secret bra, and there was seriously like maybe a hundred of them. There really wasn't but anybody selling them. We just sent them off to auction because sometimes they sell for thirty, forty dollars for used <laughs> bras back then. Yeah, those days are over, obviously, because a lot those of people are, are like get bras, you know, because they're so lightweight and they're easy to yeah. come by, you know, if you. Even if you sell them for eight, ten bucks, it's still right. good because they're so, usually pretty light unless you get the big ones. Yeah, you know what I dream about though. Yeah, the big ones are good. Dream about like, you dream about the, the big old ones? no big no, no 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 the old days of eBay where it was just you know like it was so much it was you know yeah it. I mean, we used to... Don't cry. <laughs> no, it's like sad, though. You know, you think about it. How much it has it's, changed. It is a lot And I've been now. watching all this stuff, like people talking about eBay Open and all this stuff that... It sounds like there wasn't a lot of information, too much information given by eBay. Now, other people that were talking and stuff. Um, you know, one of the things like, don't use new with tag, NWT in your title. I've always done that. And guess what? Today, I actually sold two things. NWT was the first thing in... The title, NWT, and I still sold it. Because they say, oh, Google doesn't recognize that jargon or whatever they were talking about. But when I search Google, you know what comes up the most? What? Like if I look at Poshmark stuff. And there's no white background. And there's no, you know what I mean? So I know like a lot of stuff comes up on Poshmark. Like if you're looking for whatever, and then you look at images or something, tons of them are Poshmark. Yeah. More so than eBay. I don't know. There's just my thoughts here. There you go. Good thoughts. But your hair needs a little fix. You need some more hair spray. I'll fix it before I go to the bin. I mean. So I couldn't. I couldn't figure out who out. it was. Like I can't figure out what wig this would be. So then you know that one. What's his name? David Spade did that movie. But his was longer in the back. He had like a mullet. Hmm. So that's not this. Hmm. But maybe it is. I don't know. 
Luke. I don't know. Probably next time you see me, I'll have totally different hair. <laughs> maybe. Well, Luke says he's Donald Trump. Or a hat, Trump. maybe. Yeah, he keeps calling you Donald Trump, though. Yeah. <laughs> kind of. It's not, uh, not combed over not enough. Not quite. And I don't <laughs> a little think too much. He's... I don't know. Okay, well, that's what we did. That's uh, what we sold, and there you go. And there it is. We haven't done anything with the electronics things we got yesterday. We kind of, well, we tested the router that we got. Yeah, we tested that. And that um, works, so I'm like, I'll put it out, you know, probably list it out for 100 bucks or something. Yeah. But the rest of the stuff we put in, like, an office area that we have that nothing except toys are in there. So we kind of set yeah. it up in there, and we'll see. we got to do some research. You know, a lot of people said Etsy, and they said... Etsy? Uh, not Etsy. They said Craigslist and yeah. Letgo, and uh, there's a bunch of other ones. We've used Facebook that let go. We used let go, and there was another one we used in California when I was listing some stuff. Um, I don't think we sold anything on there though when we so listed either. it. But maybe it's different here. It probably is different here. And you we, probably wouldn't be super scared to meet up with people, or maybe you'd be more scared. I don't know. I don't know. I don't like to like, you know, if you're gonna, I don't want somebody to come to my house really. Do you right. know what I'm saying? It's right. like kind of weird. Like you want to have a set. So. Well, I'll go. I mean, I'm not going to send you by yourself. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll we'll figure it out. Lots yes. of birthdays coming, so we're going to get through that a little bit. Then we'll start listing some of this stuff on something. See something. We'll figure it out. See how much we make off of it. Yeah, we were exhausted though yesterday, right? It, it's a lot of work, though. I mean. Buying a pallet of stuff, unloading, loading it in yeah. the car. I mean, had to pull all the seats down, pile it in the car, then unload it, then go through it. But then you also have to make sure everything works. Right. We were thankful, I have to say, our camera guy here, Ryan, our, well, he's going to be 11 here soon. Yeah. Right? So we were thankful he went with us. We took him and the two babies, you know, and he jumped in the pallet and got the stuff at the bottom. So I'm like, good yeah. thing he came because, like, we couldn't have jumped in there. We didn't jump in there. I had to pick him up. Well, right. Set him you had to put him in there, but he got the stuff. So we were thankful he went with us. He's a good helper for sure. Yeah. But it is yeah. exhausting, definitely. He was really excited, too. I know. I he was why, hoping but... there'd be a drone or something, you know, like that in there. Like, yeah. Because they actually had shown pictures before. They had a bunch of stuff with drones in it and stuff. Yeah. So, yeah. anyway. Okay, we'll let you guys go have a good weekend. Yep. Hope have... your sales are better than our sales. Yeah. But then I, I sent a bunch of stuff out to auction yesterday. So, hopefully, um, we'll have a better well, weekend. We listed quite a bit of stuff this week. I mean, it's not like we didn't work either. Yeah, we sold some stuff, though. Like, no, we did sell some stuff. I'm not saying we didn't sell some stuff, but I'm saying it was a really bad week all week It was a bad us. week for us, but what can you do? There's bad weeks. There's good weeks. Other people probably had their best week ever. Maybe. I mean, I'm going to go to the bend today, wear my hair. and Please don't wear the hair. Please. And, uh, you know, I'm going to get some really good stuff that people want to buy. Woo, woo. Right? Hopefully. All right. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Because I certainly don't want to go get a job. You don't? You no. don't want to cut meat anymore? No. No more butcher for you? Your butchering no. days are over. I mean, I'd do it for a day or something, but I certainly wouldn't want to do it every day again. Could you imagine? Eh. No. Okay. Pick outside the box. Thanks for watching. I hope you're having a great weekend. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Bye.